Welcome back Marinas. In today's video, we are going to learn about the equinoctial system. Before watching this video, if you haven't watched the video which I have made previously, that is the first part of the series, you need to watch that video first. Otherwise, you will not be able to understand the things which I am going to explain here. So better watch that video first and then you can come back to this video. Alright guys, so I have drawn the celestial sphere already and I have drawn the earth at the center. This is the equinoctial, you already know. Okay. So I will explain few things here. You can see, I have made one star here. This is a celestial body. It could be any star. So this will be the declination circle for the star. And this is the meridian which is passing through this body. Right? We know already these things. The longitude projections are not called as longitude. These are called the meridians on the celestial sphere. And what is this? Obviously, this is the Greenwich meridian. This is the celestial meridian of Greenwich, right? What is this one? Well, this is the observer's meridian. Observer's meridian means that somebody is on the earth and this is the longitude passing through that observer. Okay? So when you project this longitude onto the celestial sphere, it will become observer's meridian. And the next one, this is the meridian. You can see I have made this sign here. This is a sign of first point of Aries. And this meridian is passing through the first point of Aries. Okay, so this is first point of Aries meridian. If these things are clear to you, it will be very easy to understand the GHA, RA, SHA, everything. Okay, all right, guys. So now we are going to start with the SHA, that is sidereal hour angle. Okay, so these two terms will be getting repeated all over in all the definitions. That is angle at the pole or arc of the equinoctial. Okay, these two terms will be repeated in every definition we are going to cover. So basically they are saying this is the angle at the pole. So basically here. Or arc of the equinoctial. This is the equinoctial and it could be any arc. Okay. So you already know in the circle you must have learned in your schools that if you make any sector here in the circle, this angle is equal to the arc. Right. We have learned it in the school the angle is equal to this arc okay here is the same principle we are using either it is the angle at, at the pole or arc of the equinoctial so now in SHA it is angle at the pole or arc of the equinoctial between the celestial meridian which is passing from first point of Aries which is this one right this is the first point of Aries this is the meridian which is passing through it and with the celestial meridian passing through the body. So it is the angle between this meridian and this meridian, which means this is this angle. Correct? Between the first point of Aries and the celestial meridian of the body. And additionally, what we will add that it get measured westwardly. Okay? Westwardly from where? From first point of Aries. So from first point of Aries, you will measure this angle in the westward direction in this direction correct so this angle will be measured like this not like this but like this westward now the next definition is right accession so the right accession is the opposite of the SHA very simple it is the same definition it is angle at the pole or arc of the equinoctial between the first point of Aries and the celestial meridian so what is the difference the difference is the angle is measured easterly okay so this angle is known as RA that is right accession. So it is very clear from this picture that SHA plus RA is 360 degrees. Right? It, it makes a complete circle that is 360 degrees. So in the definition, the celestial meridian of the body will remain constant in all the definitions. Okay, we will cover up that. So you can see here, this is the angle and this is the arc also. You can see this is the meridian and this is also the meridian of the body. So this is the arc of the equinoctial, correct? And this is the angle. So this arc is also SHA. Right? So that's how you can understand it very simply. So now we will move on to the third definition that is GHA. Alright guys, so the GHA is also very simple. It's the same. It is the angle at the pole or arc of the equinoctial 
between the greenish meridian you can see this is the greenish meridian i have already drawn right and the celestial meridian of the body right so from here to here this is the angle gha right but this angle now we need to know in which direction we measure it we measure it always westwardly so the gha is in this direction that is westwardly okay from the greenwich this is the greenwich meridian we will measure it from the greenwich to the westward direction so this is what gha is this is same angle at the pole or arc of the equinoctial between greenwich and celestial body okay so you can see the arc also the equinoctial this is greenwich and this is celestial body this is the arc yeah and this is the angle this is the gha all right guys now we will learn about the lha that is local hour angle so in this definition it starts from same thing that is it is the angle at the pole or arc of the equinoctial between the observer's meridian observer's celestial meridian and the celestial body meridian okay so this is the angle this one between the observer's meridian and the celestial body meridian so this is the angle is known as what do we call this lha and this angle is also measured westwardly from observer's meridian so from here to here right and if we take this body then obviously this angle will go up to here like we drawn in the gha so it is from the observer's meridian to the body's meridian well the opposite of the lha is eha that is easterly hour angle so from here to here this angle will be known as eha okay from the body's meridian sorry from the observer's meridian to the body's meridian measured easterly so here we can say that lha plus eha is 360 degrees all right guys if you know the declination of the body or any hour angle which we studied now you know where the body is on the celestial sphere so for coordination you need one declination and hour angle it could be any hour angle like we need latitude and longitude on the earth for the position and for the position of the body on the celestial sphere we need these two things declination and hour angle so you must have observed that in all definition the celestial body meridian stay constant only the reference point is changing for sha it is first point of aries for gha it is greenish meridian and for the lha it is the observer's meridian all the definition is same all right guys that's it for this video we have covered the equinoctial system and in the next part we are going to cover the horizon system so that will be the part 3 of this series you need to watch that video because that is also very important well those reference points will be the zenith and the nadir and the rational horizon and we will cover up in the next video otherwise it will be very confusing to conclude all of these things in two one video and if you have not understood anything you have to watch this video again and again so that this concept gets into your mind and this picture actually should be clear in your mind if you remember the diagram that picture will stay longer in your memory All right guys if you find this video helpful you can please press the like button and subscribe the channel do press all notifications so that you don't miss out the videos which are coming up next also share this video to your friends so that they can also learn the navigation concepts in a easy way All right guys i will see you in the next video this is Avilash Thakur signing off